Jungle. Well, kind of fitting that we're in Zora's domain because this episode is brought to you by Ocarina of Time Link. Oh, look at all that meat. <laughs> hey there, guys! What did we get? Luigi Man 22 here. Welcome back to an episode of uh, Breath of the Wild. Last time, well, a very, very long episode about plot. We got this cool Zora armor, though. Oh, yeah, and now we're supposed to go beat up a Lionel or steal his arrows or so. Uh, it's one of the things. And on this episode, I kind of want to explore for a bit, but I feel like no one's going to pay attention to me. I know there's like a part where there's a side quest. Well, there's a side quest right there. I'm pretty sure there was another one. I think it could be you. <laughs> oh, you. Hi. It's me. I'm the one Prince Sidon left on top of that tower. The name's Groove. In the end, I was unable to join up with Prince Sidon. Instead, I worked up some fighting spirit and jumped into the Zora River from the top of the tower. And then I came back here. I was deeply moved seeing my reflection on the water's surface as I dove in. Yes, deeply moved. Deeply moved. It is my observation that a person's true color shines the brightest when they dive freely into the waves. Congratulations on the new Zora armor. It is most impressive indeed. Wearing that Zora armor, even a Hylian like you can climb up a waterfall and get back up here in no time at all. That said, if you didn't mind me asking, would you please show me your true colors as you dive into the water? You can dive head first from here into the water below. It will be true beauty made flesh. Please consider. Yeah, okay. We Blinding brightness! Radiant beauty! <laughs> okay, now climb up the waterfall and then meet me back here. So basically, it's a tutorial sort of quest of how the Zora armor works if you haven't even figured it out yet. It's actually pretty simple. What's also neat is that you kind of gain height and you automatically uh, raise your... Not raise, but you know... Pull, pull out your glider. Fantastic! Can you feel that? My soul is on fire. It's pulsating with beauty. You showed me something truly special. Thank you so much. Now then, come over here real quick. Okay, hold on. I'm slowly descending. Oh no, the wind! I'm fine. That was amazing! I saw your diving waterfall climb with my own eyes, and now those very eyes are flooded with tears of joy. Yes, I must thank you somehow. Okay. Oh, I feel emotionally ravaged, ravaged after that. It's not every day I get to see diving form as beautiful as yours, you know. I'll be looking forward to your next dive. I really will. Yay, that was a side quest. Oh, wait. La la la. Splits at the feet of a veiled false sight. Who are you? Oh, I'm a swordsman. A swordsman? A traveling one? So cool. But, you know, Prince Sidon is much cooler. That makes sense. Do you not say any more? Your trial awaits is growing bright. Hello. I'm Loruta. Wanna talk? That song. I just love singing. I even remembered the song from the Champion Festival. Do you want to hear it? Yeah, sure. Why not? Okay, I'm going to sing it now. The Champion Festival song. A gift from the sky. A scale of light. Splits the feet of a veiled false sight. Your trial awaits is glowing bright. Is there anything else you'd like to know? Ask me about? Yeah, uh, Sidon. So, answer gives what every girl dreams of. Okay, bye. That sounds important. Unfortunately, I jumped a gun on that. I say jumped a gun, but where am I going? All oh, right, there was a another quest here. Hi. Yes, Leto. How are you? Yes, it is. Oh, really? What materials? Luminous stones, huh? Find plenty of them up at Zolanda. Oh, we have some? Ten of them? Do I have ten? I don't think I have ten. I, I don't even think I've been bothered with gathering them. Nope, I only have two. Cool. Uh, so... That's something we'll take care of along the way. It's not anything really important. I forgot... I think I'm supposed to head over there. I'll take that. Hey! I'm in the middle of my shock arrow training. I must learn to withstand them. 
Did I not just tell you that? To commit such violence against the great Sagan saying right before you. In that case, you take the responsibility of appeasing the divine beast Varuta. Huh. I mean, you're literally shocking yourself in the rain. I'm pretty sure that that doubles, if not even quads, your weakness to electricity. I mean, I played Pokemon, and I know very little of Pokemon nowadays, but that's a lie I do. I know a lot that most people shouldn't know. But, like, I'm just saying, water and electricity do not mix. Just trying to save you the trouble. Alright, so we're supposed to head up there, I believe. So, let's just keep going. Hi. Yes, sir. East gate is all clear, sir. Oh, well, if it isn't Master Link, aren't you a sight for sore eyes? We used to play together all the time. That was a hundred years ago. My name is Gaddison. The Hylian that, the Hylian that Prince Sidon brought here. Don't tell me that was you, Master Link. And what's more, you don't seem to have changed much in the last hundred years. Oh, but I shouldn't be making idle chit-chat just now. I'm supposed to be fulfilling my officially appointed duty by keeping watch of the East Gate. I must maintain my surveillance of the East Reservoir Lake. We can chat later. Well, I'm heading up there now, but nice catching up with you, person who I just met and have clearly no memory of. Okay, who was that guy again? Because he, he seems to know me, but I don't know him. Alright, so... Let's, uh, make our way <laughs> to the waterfall. It's a very, very slow walk to the waterfall. Even as I lose stamina. I better be careful because I might <laughs> drown. In fact, I might as well just wait because I know if I jumped into water, I will drown. Majestic dive! Oh, there was something there! It was probably just a uh, fish that I can always grab later. Alright, cool. Slowly glide our way over there. I should be keeping an eye on Korok Seed, but like, I I gotta admit, uh, before uh, I was actually worried about like Korok Seeds that I need to collect, because um, before starting this Let's Play, I had, I decided to do like a bit of research of how much Korok Seeds I would need to collect before, you know, reaching story plot that I want to ca consider as like a break in like, you know, in between the series, and like, uh... You know, before I was worried, but now, because the second DLC is out, um... Oh, there's a thing there. I'll take a short detour. But now that the second DLC is out, it's actually kind of lightened the load of how many Korok Seeds I want to collect. So, like, I'm not as concerned as, uh... I'm just gonna skim through this, or whatever. Giant Octorok, Tenno Bay, Terrorize, Sidon beat up the Octorok. It was a tricky beast, and no one could beat the Octorok, but Prince Sidon just beat up the Octorok, and, you know, he stabbed him in the stomach, and then that's it. We did it. If you want to read that yourself, you can, but I I, I don't want to continue reading. I've already, dis I've already distracted myself enough with, uh... Just, just gonna ignore that. <laughs> That's gonna con continue to pop up until it dies, and then the another screen will pop up and be like, "Oh, wow, this is awkward." But yeah, now I'm not so much as concerned about Korok seeds because I did the math again after the second DLC came out, and if I planned this right, I shouldn't be worried too much about Korok seeds at this point. Maybe in the next part, I'll worry about it. Anyways, looks like I found some shock arrows. Oh wait. One thing I would recommend to make it easier, because it's kind of hard to see the shock arrows, I would use the camera feature that you have in, uh, you know, in the Sheikah Slate, and then, uh, just set the Sheikah sensor to the shock arrows. That's what I would recommend, because there are going to be a lot of shock arrows everywhere, and, uh, yeah, you just want to... It, it will just make your life easier, especially since we need uh, 20 of them, and right now we have... Four. We have four right now. I hope I didn't shoot off that arrow. <laughs> but yeah, I, I recommend that, doing that, just so it'll be a little bit helpful. Uh, well, this is Shatterback, so straight up that way. Cool. Hey there, little fox. How are you? You're doing fine, right? Cool. Let's see here. 
Should be more shock arrows over here. Oh, this would be a really good time to have a stealth suit. Why didn't I go back to Kakariko Village and buy that stealth suit? Alright, so, real talk. You wanna fight? Are you f Bingo. kidding me? Oh, well, at least I didn't decide to fight the Lionel now. Or, you know, defeated it earlier. This is like a really super bad time for this to happen. I'm trying to avoid a fight with the Lionel because of the damn blood moon. Oh, it doesn't even help that I'm wading through water. It's trying to find me. I'm also trying to avoid. Okay. Oh, hi, you spotted me. Hi, how are you? Didn't mean to do that. Okay, bye. So, like I was trying to say earlier, you can't fight the Lionel if you want. That's your choice. I don't recommend it because of that. He will shoot down the... Uh... Did he just... Did he just disappear? I think he just disappeared. Because of the- oh, nope. He just teleported. I didn't know they can do that. Is this because of the blood moon? If so, that's really weird. Also, I'm gonna skip this. The cutscene's the same. It's not much different. It's just more of like Zelda warning you to watch out for enemies that are coming back to life. I'm also an easy target. You know what? Screw it. We're trying this. Although, now that I think about it, the next time I pop back in, the Blood Moon will happen again, so... I might as well just... I have this. Sure, we'll, we'll also give myself six extra hearts. Alright, we're gonna try to beat this thing up. If that's the case, I need better armor because Zora armor is not gonna help me. Oh, uh, let's see here. Mm, don't mind me, I'm just looking through. Yeah, okay. Oh, hi, Al. So, uh, like I said, you can choose to fight the Lionel if you want. I don't recommend it unless you're really good at dodging. Or you have, like, a lot of weapons. Or good defense. Because you see all of there, he hits like a Bingo. truck. He hits like a f***ing truck. And you see how much health he has. He's actually considered to be a tough enemy. There are different variations of the Lionel that you don't want to mess with. Funny enough, this is like a low-level Lionel, so... Yeah. Oh, wow, I thought I got hit by that, but okay, sure, whatever. I guess it's a good thing Sidon gave us that shock resistant, huh? Come on, buddy. Aha! I should have gotten hit by that, but I didn't. So I'm just going to take advantage of that. Oh, wait, there's another trick you can do that's actually pretty useful. If you manage to hit the Lionel's weak spot, which I think is between his forehead... That, I did not, almost didn't uh, react in time. But yeah, if you are uh, able to beat up the, hit the Lionel's weak spot and stun him, you can actually climb onto his back and actually deal damage to him uh, from his back. I feel like my controller's not being responsive at times, which is sad, but hey, whatever. So now we're at the halfway point, officially. I'm afraid what he's gonna do. Oh yeah, here's another one of his attacks. He can breathe fireballs. So just keep moving. Don't, don't get hit. Hi. Aha, you missed. Oh, I jumped too early. Eh. 
Dodge! Woo! No, my giant boomerang! I need to invest in more weapons! Oh, jeez! Mmm, I'm glad he left me with a quarter of a heart. Do I have a fairy? Legit question, do I have a fairy? I don't have a fairy. It doesn't seem like a shingle. I'm also realizing I'm placing unnecessary sensors, so... Whoops. Um... Sure. I'm, I gotta, I gotta make more, uh... More, uh, food. Ooh, oh, but if I eat that, that will actually get rid of my, uh... Shock resistance, so I don't want to get rid of that. That was dumb. That was that was dumb on my part. I also had stealth. I also have haste food. I should. Oh, I should have planned this better. But I'm not giving up now because we are almost done. Ow! It hurts. It's funny how much I'm screwing up now. Come on. Come at me, bro. I walked right into that. Alright, cool. We beat him. Oh, jeez. I was focused by a lot. <laughs> oh, so anyways, being up a Lionel gives you good rewards. We got a Lionel sword, which is good because I need to replace some of the weapons I have. Uh, Lionel horn, Lionel hoof, 10 shock arrows, which actually brings us to like completing our quest. That's funny. Lionel bow, which is a bit weaker, but actually will shoot three arrows instead of one. And Lionel Shield, which is actually better than any shield that I have. <laughs> oh man, I, I actually did a little better this time. I only had to use one of my uh, powered up food, but I also used up an attack up, as you see in the corner. So that that's that actually made things a little bit easier. I'll tell you that much. I'll drop you. Actually, now I'll keep you. You're about to go away. And then for bows, I'll drop the Fennec one because it's about to break. Cool. Uh, let's switch back. <laughs> let's go to the Knight's Broadsword for a bit, and then let's continue to, uh... Uh, bring these, uh, shock arrows. I mean, we only need 20. That much is true. But I still say go around and, like, get as much shock arrows as you can, because, like, for now, shock arrows is kind of hard to find. And you never know when you might screw up and, you know... Well, you just might screw up. Um, if I'm right, I should be paying attention to the Chica sensor because it's leading me to where they are. Whoop! Oh. Hi. So, just gonna hop in. I still can't believe that the Blood Moon was like was happening at the same time as I fight a Lionel. I'm telling you, one day, one day I'm gonna fight an enemy or a boss. Or a mid boss, or an overworld boss, then the blood moon is gonna happen and just like ruin everything for me. Because uh, as it as it was pointed out, the blood moon kind of uh, brings back any enemies you defeated back to life. In addition to that, any enemies you are currently fighting, also, not also, but will get their health fully restored. Which is the dumbest thing I've ever heard, but hell, it's a thing. It's a thing that happened. Okay, um, I think that's all. Nope, it's still pointing me somewhere. Uh, what is, I, I was about to say, that's all the shock arrows, but it's leading me somewhere down here. Nope. Back here? But where, though? Maybe there was one I missed. Was there, or, or is it just leading me on a wild goose chase? Nope, oh, nope, I lost it. Oh, nope, there it is. <laughs> Apparently, there's still more, so... I mean, it's fine. How many do I have now, anyway? Oh, I have 40. I have plenty. 
I have plenty at this point. Are you on top of this tree? How far up the tree? Unless you're not up the tree. But everywhere I go is leading me to this tree. Alright, well, I have an axe. I have one for a reason. <laughs> if there was a shock arrow, I would find it here. This tree branch. Nope, wild goose chase. <laughs> I chopped down this tree for no reason. Alright, well, anyways, uh, where is our object objective now? Oh, yeah, we're supposed to meet up with, uh, Sidon at the... At the lake reservoir, so I guess I'll make my way there. Like I said, 40 shock arrows, that's still not bad. Plus 10 if you get if you beat up the Lionel, so that's a bonus. <laughs> I find it hilarious though. I'm gonna switch this back to the shrine location. I'm trying to hit B, but like it's not responding. I think the game I think the controller actually might die at some point. <laughs> what does this sign say? Jump at your own risk. Well, yeah. Obviously, there's a risk. All right, uh, I'm supposed to meet Sidon over there, so I'll just slowly glide my way over there. Oh, yeah, I guess I should say this now if you're following along for some reason. Uh, you might as well take this time to prepare. Actually, I might just do that. Sorry, Sidon. I'm going to have to hold off for a sec because... <laughs> I just realized I want to prepare some food and some things just in case something stupid happens, which knowing me and how I'll Breath of the Wild likes to work, it likes to screw me over at times. So I'm going to cut right here and then I'm going to prepare some food and stuff and then uh, we'll just just be right back. Oh yeah, ever need arrows or ice arrows? Zora shop is definitely the place you want to be in. Ooh. Hold on. <laughs> I was going to start where uh, Sidon is, but uh, hey, look, chest. Give me a weapon. Night shield. Ooh, that's a definitely better shield than what I have now. Okay, dropping you. Actually, now that I think of it, I probably should have got rid of the shield of mine's eye. Hold on, let me fix my inventory for that. Hi, you get dropped. I said you get dropped. Come on. There we go. Oh, yeah, I should probably equip the Zora tunic because I'm probably gonna need that. Yeah, I'll leave the hood on. Ah, uh, well. Nah, I'll just leave the hood on. <laughs> oh yeah, if you ever need resting, here's a place where you can rest. I might do that because it automatically, uh... Not automatically, but it's... I think it saved your point. I could be wrong. I want to say it does. But just in case... Yeah, I just slept till noon. What about it? Hey, what's up, Shark Man? I'm glad to see you're ready to go, Link. Are you ready for this? Do you have do you have your Zora armor and enough shock arrows? Yeah, I'm ready. Wonderful! You never cease to amaze, Link. Now then, let us go and appease that divine beast as one. Here we go. Gaze on po now upon the divine beast's back. Do you see those glowing pink orbs? You'll need to sh you will need to shoot each of them with a shock arrow. With your Zora armor, you now have the ability to ascend waterfalls. So I shall take you right up to the side of the divine beast, and from there you can swim up and take aim. I know you can do it. I believe in you. Now hurry up and get on my back. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll go. Good answer. Let's get going. Okay, here we go. Ha! I'm unstoppable in the water. Ruta is responding to our presence. I'll move away and wait for an opening before we approach. 
I'll keep going at full speed. It's up to you to ward off Ruta's attacks. Are you ready? Divine Beast Ruta will undoubtedly use its ancient and mysterious powers against us. That includes hurling giant ice blocks that we need to watch out for. I shall leave those to you. Oh yes, here we are at another location. By the way, Crynosis is your best friend. So, uh, there are two ways you can tackle this. You can use your arrows, but I recommend you not use your arrows and save them and just use Crynosis. Oh, I need to get my bow ready. Uh, there we go. Oh, well, wait, didn't mean to shoot. <laughs> that was almost bad. Oh, there we go. Yeah, you really need to be on the ball with this and, like, pay attention when things are happening because a lot of things are happening. Hi, what's up? Get, I'll get on your back. Well, better get Kronos' up. So, smack that. Smack that. So, it's actually... This is actually pretty neat, actually. Uh, riding around the Divine Beast. And also trying to avoid all the dangerous ice. Yeah, that's this is fun. Alright, time for round two. Almost missed the prompt. And... Boom. That should be it, right? Yeah, that's it. I'm just gonna... I mean, there's like no consequences of me just going straight down. I mean, I land literally right next to him. Oh, now we have, uh... Now we're starting to get to a dangerous part. Ice spike balls! Oh, hi. <laughs> oh, no. I accidentally create. Oh, come on! There. <laughs> I created... <laughs> I created two pillars of ice. Okay, this is actually challenging because, uh... You know... They're actually moving. Alright, should be the third one, right? Yeah. I think. Well, and either way. Shock that one. Back in the water I go. Alright, now we're getting to the fun part. Where <laughs> where Ruta is gonna send like all all types of ice. Oh come on. Break it. There we go. I actually gotta pay attention because this actually might be distracting. This is where arrows are gonna be useful. This is the third time that thing popped up in like the last hour or so. Which means that it's gonna die like soon and then I'm gonna hate myself when it does. Well, at least that didn't hit me. Stop forming ice. That's like the last thing I need. Alright, well. This should do it. The last arrow. If I could aim right. We did it. Wow, that was astounding, an absolute thrill. And we stopped the flow of water. Oh, hey, and it stopped raining. Nice. Link, look! The water spouting from Ruta has slowed down. Ruta is hi floating higher now. You wanted to venture inside it, right? Well, yeah, I, I need to get on there. I'll bring it closer. We're counting on you, hero. Do good work there. Looks like this is where the real work starts. Best of luck. Nice job cutting off the water flow from this divine beast. Show the enemy no fear. I'll see you back at Zor's domain. Farewell. Oh, sweet. Now we can travel out of here or in here whenever we want. I must say that I am so happy to see that this day has finally arrived. Now, Ruta 
I can be freed of Ganon's control. You'll need a map to prevent you from getting lost. The guidance stone there contains the information that you will need. All right. Well, we've done it. We're inside Faruta. Well, technically we're outside, but you know what I mean. Also, you may have noticed this. We can actually leave here anytime. This actually counts as a warp point. So if you ever need to leave, either you're like, you know, you need to restock your items or you're out of weapons or like for whatever reason, you can actually warp out of here to the near shrine or if if you're at the front entrance, you can leave, and I think it will take you back here where Sidon is. Because uh, right now, Sidon's currently waiting for us uh, on over there. So anytime you need to leave, you can. But! This is the start of a dungeon. Yeah, that's right. There are dungeons in this game. This is one of them. So, on the next episode, we're gonna tackle this. But, if you like what you see here... Slap that like button. Really like what you see here? Slap the subscribe button. You want great. If you do, blame yourself for listening to me. And next time, well, we're gonna see what wonderful adventure. I kind of figured this will happen. <laughs> and I'll see you guys then. I won't you let me use amiibo?